what up what up hey what's good everybody hey i hope everybody's doing well in this new year so far so good hopefully and um wanted to do a little bit of review uh about a fragrance i've been wanting to get to for a little while uh, i was turned on this fragrance by my brother fragrance journey and the conversation came up that this was michael jackson's favorite signature fragrance his go-to scent and that fragrance is Bala Bala Versace I can't say it you can type it in and find it but all in all let's address the elephant in the room okay don't let the shirt fool you I'm the boogeyman I am the wolf in sheep's clothing I am Joe Braxton now got that out the way <laughs> now with this fragrance michael jackson's favorite signature go-to fragrance this i think i picked this up for maybe 35 dollars somewhere about there and it's funny you know man with endless money whereas relatively inexpensive fragrance which i understand now because the king of pop is over the top didn't mean for that to rhyme but it did but the king of pop you can spray on a crap load of fragrance uh, because you're michael jackson i think i saw a video of him spraying just i mean he blackjack sprayed it he was spraying 21 times and he was spraying all over the place i even think he sprayed his sausage i mean he sprayed it right on his dingus um, don't go there don't do it okay but yeah he sprayed it all over the place and it's funny when you think about something like that <clears throat> i do that i'm an idiot i'm a butthole i'm wearing too much cologne he does it wow he smells good because that's michael jackson wow i remember what he smelled like yeah you can famous you can do what you want to do but what this smells like does it smell dated hell yes but it smells so dated that it's so far back it's like somebody saying you know it smells like a cologne that they wore in in 1906 it's like yeah it smells so dated but no one was alive to tell you that it smelled that old so it smells so old that it's unique now and i i get it because what it is it's a, a crap load of florals this smells it's a powdery floral for the most part with some richness and depth to it so when it all comes down to it, when you first spray it on, you get that powdery floral and it does feel dated. But if you could jump in a time machine and go forward, go in the time machine, uh, let's say five, six hours, don't go too far because you might grow a jerry curl and a sequins glove and start singing beat it. But just go about four or five hours into it. When this dries down, it dries down into to me a benzoin vanilla bomb because that once i get to that point that's all i get it lasts a good well a good while i would say it lasts 10 12 hours and it can be noticed that far into it but when it dries down to that benzoin vanilla bomb it is divine the dry down is much better than the opening of this i mean i it it does have some animalic kind of qualities to it that if you can get by that good you just have to fight in the beginning the powdery floral animalic get to that dry down and at that point this is divine i mean i really enjoy it and i actually like the design of this bottle it looks like somewhat i mean cheap plastic cap but it looks like a a remy remy martin bottle i mean it really does it has that look to it so it looks pretty good in your collection honestly no one would ever think that it's just a little $30, you know, fragrance. But <laughs> but uh, if you can just get to that dry down with this, I really enjoy that dry down. It is challenging. Not everyone is going to be able to pull this off. Some people is going to be a spray and hell no go. But if you can get to that dry down, give it a shot and see if it's a fit. It's not going to be for everybody, but it works for me. Kind of works with this pink shirt. It is what it is. <laughs> but hey, that's all I got. And so until next time, y'all be good.